Hello students of the composing process. I am recording this video to assist those of you who are still not um, certain as to where to find our course resources, including all the instructions for the assignments and the weekly activities, um, how to find those things on our Moodle page and Articulate Rise. And so I'm going to um, share my screen right now and take you to our Moodle course. I'm going to point out where all of the main course resources are um, are located and then how to uh, where to click on Moodle to take you to the Articulate Rise platform which is the, the, the partner or twin platform that we are using along with Moodle, um, where our course content in the com composing process is laid out. From some of the emails and questions that you've been asking, I gather that some of you are not so sure where these things are found. So please um, um, follow me and use this video to, to, um, to see how to navigate um, our course. All right, so I'm going to share my screen right now and go to our Moodle page. Okay, I trust that you can see the page. And so um, on my screen, we're looking at our composing process course on Moodle. And so I'm gonna scroll down from top to bottom. And the first thing I want to point out is right below the course description, um, we have this um, forum space that says course announcements and reminders. Every week, I'm going to be placing um, more than likely once per week could be more important messages and uh, announcements and reminders. Below that, in this um, page resource, it says course outline and lecturers information. You click on that and it will take you to another part of Moodle where you're going to find the course outline and the information on each of it, on me, the course coordinator, and the other lecturers who are assigned to the different sections. Um, if you were in the class meeting earlier today, um, Tuesday, um, you will recall that I pointed that out, but I'm going to revisit that page really quickly just to remind you that um, below the photo of each of your lecturers, you will see the contact information and the section and the section. So here says I Kelly, course coordinator and lecturer for section one. So if you are enrolled in the section of the course, when you look at your course um, number, if you are one of the students whom I will, whose papers I will be grading and will be guiding through the course, then um, your course number will say 1035. O one, one meaning section one. And then Miss Egg Miss Erica Aguilar students, your course number will say 1035 O. The O means online, and it will say 1.1. You are in Miss Egg Erica Aguilar's section 1.1. And this here, um, these are her contact. Um, this is her email contact. And um, TBA says that her, indicates that her consultation hours will be announced. She will let you know if you are in her, in her section. Miss Julie Livingston is the lecturer who is in charge of section 1.2. And her email address is there. Miss Lisa Kyle, section 1.3, and her email address is there. She has already announced her consultation um, day and time. It is Tuesday from 11 to 12, every Tuesday, immediately after the whole class meeting that is led by me, the coordinator. Miss Kyle is going to um, be sending, she probably has already done that, sent the meeting link to her meeting that will take place for her, with her and her students right after um, 
her section, I should say, right after our Tuesday morning meetings. And then finally, Miss Lisa Ramirez is in charge of section 1.4, and that is her email address there. So on this page is where you will find the lecturer's information and below miss kelly that's me the coordinator's photo you will see a link in purple that says click here to download course outline it says course outline click here to download when you click there the course outline is going to pop up in another um, window and you're able to view it right here or you can download it by clicking the download link and saving it on your device good all right so let's go back to our main course page so i can show you other um things where other things are located on our moodle course page next um scrolling down we have here below the page with the course outline and the lecturer's information we have the link the web link that you will use to join our weekly meetings. You click on this link and it will take you to the, the Tuesday morning meetings um, conducted by me, Ms. Keller, the course coordinator. And it tells you the time right here. Just go ahead and read. And then now we're scrolling down and looking at we're gonna scroll past week one since week one is already passed and we'll go to week two so that you can see where everything is for week two. All of the weeks are set up pretty much the same way. We're at the beginning of the week here, it says week two, course overview and lecturer and student introductions. This first label here at the beginning of the week tells you what is a topic for the week. And then in this yellow, um label here um, is the overview for the week below the overview is the um one or more um learning objectives for the week and then under this purple first purple label that says learning activities and resources the first link the first web link that will be under this label for under each week is the one that says click here to go to this week's lesson and resources resources on articulate rise this is the link that i think um some people are missing are not are not noticing and that is um that is um that we need to correct that because at this link is where the main um the all of the instructions the teaching videos the assignment explanations and actually the lesson for the week is laid out in detail step by step and so this is where it's happening guys this is where all that really most of the action is so really the moodle page it's kind of like a framework and a launching pad that will take us to articulate rise but it also it's it is also on this main model page under the last label for each week that says course assessment that you're going to see the the spaces for you to upload your various assignments so this being week two you notice the chapter one summary the assignment will be uploaded here you click here and you just read the instructions and it will take you to the uploading space for your chapter one summary and then the discussion forum for this week is forum one you click on that and it will take you to the space where you're going Going to enter um, that assign do that assignment um, but before you can do any of these assignments you need the explanations and the in instruct the instructions and um, and so on and where you get that is in addition to your course outline because the course outline gives you a detailed description of each assignment as well as the assignments grading rubric um, but in more, even more detail is presented here at this link that says click here to go to this week's lesson and resources on Articulate Rise. And you're going to find um, uh, a link that says this exact same thing under every week on Moodle. So I will show you going back up to week one. Under week one, under the learning activities and resources, there is the link that you click to take you to week one on Articulate Rise. The, identi the links look all, um, identical, but when you click on them, you will see that they take you to a new page 
um, where the lessons and resources for that particular week week is available. So let's click on this one and it will take you to the, the launch page for the course on Articulate Rise. So you have to click one more time this button that says start course. And when you click start course, it takes you into the Articulate Rise page. I'm gonna click on that little um, menu thingy so that this is hidden so that we can have the whole um, width um, the space here on the page. So this is where when you scroll down, you will see all of the explanatory information, the videos, the textbook, or the link that takes you to the textbook. Um, all of the teaching materials, the assignments and the instructions for the assignment, everything is laid out here. And so then those of you who have been asking about the instructions, Miss, where are the instructions for this week's discussion forum? Well, when you scroll down to step three on this articular, articulate rise page, there you have it, okay, it says step three discussion forum and then some preliminary information right here you read that you scroll down below the photo you will get, you will notice that i tried to use a lot of visual um um materials just to keep the page interesting and visually appealing and so that's just a photo to add visual enhancement but below the photo um, are the additional instructions in detail for the discussion forum. You read A, it tells you what to do. B, scroll down and you just go ahead and read for yourself all the instructions. And here it tells you, see the course outline for other um, assignment details, details regarding the discussion forum for this week. And it says, including the grading rubric. And then it just reminds you of the due dates which is also in the course outline, all right? So that's that's where you find the instructions for, the, for that particular assignment. And then for the, um, the outline summary that is explained here, I think in, in step two, step two says textbook reading and outline summary. The instructions are right here. This shows you a photo of what the textbook looks like, but when you click on this link, you, it will take you to a copy of the textbook that I have saved in my Google Drive, and you are able to view it right here, or you can download it here and have it on your device. Okay, guys, so um, every week from Moodle, and let just let me finish off this week, you will see, just to remind you that there is an, an, a bonus activity here at the end of week two. You read it and you see if you're interested in doing that bonus opportunity to earn yourself three points. And you have a good amount of time between now and week 14 to do that, to work on it weekly and finish early if you want before week 14. And then at the end of each week, I have a self-check activity just to encourage you to check um, these boxes, just to test yourself, to, to check yourself, to see if you have completed all of the steps that are indicated at the start of the this course page here. It says, by the end of this week, you should complete the following steps, steps one, two, three, four. And then at the end of the week here on our Articulate Rise, I bring back those same steps again, just to ask you to check to make sure that you have done the four different things that the week requires you to do. Good. So to get back to Moodle from Articulate Rise, you just click the back arrow twice, click once, click twice, and we're back on our Moodle page under week two, which is where what we're viewing right now. And then under the same learning activities and resources label, you will notice that we have two additional web links. The first one is the recording of the class meeting. Um, for each week, you're going to find a link just like this. And because we had a class meeting this 
this morning um the link is right here and the label says um recording of class meeting tuesday august 24th so whether you were in the meeting today or whether you couldn't make it um clicking on this and reviewing the video might be a good source of um, review for you and reminding yourself of the information. If you did not attend the meeting for whatever reason, you are highly um, advised, actually required to review this video just so that you are up to breast with what was covered in the, in the meeting today. Remember the meetings are mostly just consultations for clarifications, to answer your questions, just to make sure that you are clear and that you feel in the loop and you feel confident about the work for the week. And so it, it is important that you attend the meetings each week, but if you're not able to, that you um, play the video that is there, at least by the end of Wednesday or so each week, you wanna go through the video. And, um, and then um, um, Google Meet also records whatever goes on in the chat for the meeting. And so I have um, pasted that here this week. I will not always paste the chat record, but I pasted it here because I do know that you were entering your cell numbers. And um, and so those are here for your lecturers use as well as your classmates if they want to get in touch with you. But by this, the end of this week, um, or at the very least before our next um, class meeting on Tuesday, I'm going to try, I'm going to be encouraging all of the, the lecturers, um, my fellow lecturers in the composing process to put together a class list for their section so that you all can, um, can know who your work partners are and also, if you do not mind entering your um, your cell numbers in your class list so that your lecturer and your classmates can have easy access to you. And those lecturers who will opt to form a, a WhatsApp page, that might be helpful as well. Good? All right, so, um, so pretty much that's how each week is structured in the composing process where you have the name of the week, I mean, the, na the, the, the name of the, the topic for the week here, the week's overview, and we want you to read all of this just to get you properly situated into the week's content. And then the, the um, learning objectives for the week scrolling down under the week learning activities and resources and that's mostly links okay and the most important being the link that takes you to um, the week's lesson and resources on articulate rise and under the last banner for each week is where you're going to see the um the assignment or discussion forum um spaces for you to click and upload your work. You're seeing an additional assignment here that's a little pill that says feedback and grades for discussion forum. You can ignore that. Um, I'll tell you more about that later. That's not really for you to upload anything. So the two main assignments for this week are this one that says chapter one summary and discussion forum one. Okay, guys, so, um, so then I do hope that that helps um, helps you to have a better idea of where things are located in our in our Moodle course. And if you still are unclear about, about that, how to navigate your way between our Moodle page and Articulate, um, please feel free to reach out to me or your section lecturer because we don't want you to be in the dark. All right. Remember too that your course outline has a lot of the information that you need and your one and only assignment for last week was for you to read the course outline. And so if you have not done that yet, then you're in a little bit of trouble because you needed to have finished reading your course outline. The course outline is the blueprint. Um, and so you want to make sure that you have a pretty good idea of the course content expectations and a good idea of what the assignments entail. So take your time time and um, read the course outline um, uh, if you haven't done so as yet. Good. So um, thank you very much. And remember to stay, stay in touch um, by email, especially, and, um, and, you know, reach out to your classmates as well if you have any questions that they can assist you with. Thank you very much.